one of which was domestication of animals he earlier hunted for food. The early man was a hunter and a gatherer. The early man was a hunter and a gatherer. As man evolved through the Stone Age, he made important discoveries, one of which was domestication of animals he earlier hunted for food. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to 1. Identify the factors that led to the development of early agriculture in Mesopotamia. 2. Explain the development of early agriculture in Egypt. 3. Answer the following questions. Attempt the following exercises. Egypt is said to be one of the regions of the world where early agriculture started between 5000 and 4000 BC. It started along the Nile Valley. Attempt the following exercise. Several factors led to the development of early agriculture in Egypt. 1. Presence of River Nile, which provided water for irrigation. 2. Presence of fertile silt deposited in the fields during floods by River Nile and its tributaries. 3. Availability of indigenous crops, for example, wheat and barley. 4. Availability of farm tools, for example, hose sticks and ox drone plow and five the use of irrigation especially the shadow which they heavily relied on there were several effects of the early agriculture in egypt one, it led to increased food production, which resulted to increase in population. Two, it led to settled life. Three, it resulted to increased trade due to production of surplus food. And four, it led to the development of urban centers like Memphis, Thebes, and Aswan. The map provided in the next page shows these towns. 
The map provided shows the location of the urban centers. Mesopotamia means land between two rivers. These rivers are the Euphrates and the Tigris. It was known as the Fertile Crescent. Today, it's part of the present-day Iraq. Attempt the following exercise. Early agriculture in Mesopotamia started around 8000 BC. Agriculture was influenced by various factors. Early agriculture in Mesopotamia had various effects. Agrarian revolution refers to the time when sudden and radical change in agricultural methods took place. Agrarian revolution involved changes in 1. Use of machines 2. Enlargement of farms 3. Scientific methods of farming 4. Scientific methods of processing foods including preservation and refrigeration By the end of this lesson, you should be able to describe the agrarian revolution in Britain and USA. Answer the following questions. Attempt the following exercises. Try out the following activity.
Agrarian revolution began in Britain, then spread to the rest of the world. Initially, agriculture before the revolution was practiced on small scale, using simple tools like sticks, wooden hoes, and wooden plows. They mainly practiced monocropping. That is, they grew only one type of crop in the same place every year. Attempt the following exercise. The agrarian revolution in Britain was caused by some of these factors. 1. High demand for food by the growing urban population. 2. Great demand for agricultural raw materials for many modern and improved textile factories. 3. Mechanization introduced by Jethro Tull, especially the invention of horse-drawn seed drill. 4. Land consolidation. 5. Selective breeding. 6. Introduction of new farming tools. 7. Application of new methods of farming, for example, use of fertilizers and crop rotation. And 8. Land enclosure systems by fencing. Agrarian revolution in Britain affected people's lives in many ways. Some of these include 1. Improved methods of farming that led to increased food production. 2. Increased agricultural production that led to rapid population growth as availability of more food reduced mortality rates and increased life expectancy. 3. It led to diversification of agriculture crops like clover potatoes beans maize and citrus were grown four other effects included landlessness unemployment and migrating to other parts of the world five improved road networks and transport were other effects of agrarian revolution and six it also contributed to a class of rich people, promoted international trade, and improved standards of living. Agrarian revolution rapidly spread to other places. One of the places where it spread to was USA. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to 1. Identify the factors that led to the development of agriculture in USA. 2. Explain how agrarian revolution developed. 3. Discuss the effects of development of agriculture in USA. It is important to review the previous lesson by looking at the highlights of agrarian revolution in Britain. The agrarian revolution in Britain was caused by some of the following factors. 1. High demand for food by the growing urban population. 2. Great demand for agricultural raw materials for many modern and improved textile factories. And 3. Mechanization introduced by Jethro Tull, especially the invention of horse-drawn seed drill. Attempt the following exercises.
agrarian revolution did not only take place in Britain, but also spread to other areas. An example is agrarian revolution in the USA. The factors that led to the development of agriculture in USA include 1. Land enclosure system in Britain that left many people landless. This made them to move to America where they got involved in agriculture. 2. Religious and political differences in Britain and other parts of Europe such as German, France, ETC forced many Europeans to migrate and settle in America. 3. Laborers and craftsmen from Britain migrated to USA in search of better lives. 4. Relocation of prisoners who found an opportunity in farming. 5. The teaching of agricultural economics, discovery of the preservation methods, and government assistance in the form of grants. It is also important to note that development of agriculture in USA existed even before the coming of the European. Agrarian revolution had various effects. Some of these are 1. Food shortage was common due to harsh climate or failure in rainfall. 2. Population increase. And 3. Diversification of agriculture as indigenous crops were improved besides animal husbandry. The term third world refers to less developed countries in Africa, Asia, and Latin America. These countries have common characteristics such as 1. They were once colonized. 2. They have weak economies. 3. They are characterized by constant food shortages. 4. They rely on the western countries for aid. 5. They are characterized by political instabilities. And six, the third world countries have chronic food shortages. Third world countries in most cases are unable to feed their populations and often rely on food relief from international organizations. Answer the following question. Attempt the following exercise. Several factors have contributed to food shortages in the third world countries. These include 1. High rate of population growth in the third world compared to the rate of food production. 1. Food shortage has led to devastating effects in several factors have contributed to food shortages in the third world countries. These include 1. High rate of population growth in the third world compared to the rate of food production. 2. Poor methods of farming. 3. Inadequate funds. 4. Adverse climatic conditions. 5. Natural calamities. Overemphasis on cash crops. 8. Rural to urban migration. 9. Political instability. 10. Poor infrastructure. 
11 pests and diseases 12 poor and inadequate storage facilities which have reduced food availability a great amount of harvested crops goes to waste due to attacks by weevils 13 hiv and aids 14 poor economic planning and 15 neglect of drought resistance crops Attempt the following exercise. Food shortage has led to devastating effects in the third world countries. This includes 1. Loss of lives. 2. Increasing suffering among the people, for example, malnourished mothers will deliver sickly and weak children. 3. Social problems in the society, for example, raiding neighboring communities. 4. Rise in number of refugees as people flee their countries due to drought and famine. economic underdevelopment because a lot of money is used to import food, hence denying other sectors funds. Dependence on food aid, which has turned third world countries into dumping grounds. Unemployment due to collapse of the agricultural industries. Attempt the following exercise. Third world countries have taken several steps to alleviate the food problem. Some of these include 1. Introduction of new methods of farming which have resulted to increased production Two, more land has been brought under irrigation to counter the inadequate rainfall. The movie provided shows irrigation taking place. Three, more land has been claimed, hence increasing arable land. Four, 
Good storage facilities have been built to minimize the losses. 5. Government should formulate better food policies. This enhances utilization of available land. Six, government should intervene to stop civil strife by peaceful means. This will ensure that the resources in those countries are used effectively. Seven, mobilization of funds by the government to boost agricultural production. Eight, farmers should be encouraged to grow drought-resistant crops such as sorghum, yams, millet and cassava. 9. Developing countries should improve their transport networks so that farm produce can be transported easily to the market. And 10. Establishments of cooperative society which assist the farmers in accessing credit facilities, marketing produce and getting farm inputs. Attempt the following exercise. Kenya too has not been left behind in solving its food shortage. Some of the measures Kenya has taken include 1. Extensive research has been carried out in research institutions, for example, the Kenya Agricultural Research Institute Curry was established. This has led to the production of hybrid crops like maize. Other institutions include ISIPE, in full, International Center for Insect Physiology and Ecology, and International Livestock Research Institute. Two, presence of genetically engineered crops and animals which have been introduced in the Kenyan agricultural sector. For example, bananas that are resistant to pests and diseases have been developed by Jomo Kenyatta University of Agriculture and Technology and Kari. Three, establishment of agriculture training institution to train experts like agricultural officers, veterinary doctors, and horticulture experts. Examples of such institutions are examples of such institution are JKUAT and University of Nairobi. Four, the government has introduced the teaching of agriculture in the school curriculum. 5. The government has educated people on the need for family planning. And 6. The government has formulated a food security policy to enhance production in the country.